We live in a really interesting world where a lot of our items, our everyday items, are becoming connected. I'm a perfect example of this. I'm wearing smart glasses right now. I have a smart ring on for activity and sleep tracking, and then I have a smart watch. But now we have smart masks. That's right. It's Joshua Figara. What's going on, everybody? This is a quick video. Just want to talk a little bit about this. The AirPop Active Plus. It was bound to happen. We were going to have smart masks eventually, and there are a few examples out there, but this was announced back at CES of this year, uh, and it's, uh, let's say, one of the more practical versions of smart masks compared to something like Razer's exciting, but also kind of overkill, RGB-enabled Project Hazel. Though I will say, this little sensor that I'm going to talk about later in the video, when it was blinking, I definitely had some people wondering why my mask was blinking in the first place. But yes, in the mask wearing era, it was only a matter of time before this thing that we're putting on our face to protect both ourselves and other people was going to have some sort of smart technology injected into it. And on that note, uh, all of you out there who might be getting into the comment sections right now to just spout some nonsense, you literally just clicked on a video about a mask. So maybe think twice about your priorities and not bring that negativity into my comment sections. We are talking about a mask here that might be important for the era we live in right now, but it's also important in general if you care about your respiratory health. This is a practical item. After all, that's what masks like this and many of other AirPods offerings were designed to do, uh, which is to filter out the pollutants that you might be breathing in every single day. And there are a lot of places around the world where masks come in handy for people who don't want to be breathing in all of that craziness. And with the expertise that AirPod already has across multiple other products, let's talk about what they brought to the Active Plus. You start off with the shell, which has the ear loops, which comfortably sit behind the ear even when I have glasses on, and the shell itself holds the Halo Smart Sensor. The Halo Sensor is coin battery powered, and let's just say I've had this thing for over a month now, and I'm definitely not anywhere close to killing the battery with this. Now, this comes in a couple of different colors. You have black and green, and you also have white and gray, so there are a couple of options here. But this is basically the holder for the most important part of the mask, which is the filter. The filter, which compared to the shell, looks a little bit more in line with what you would expect out of a filtration device, snaps into a couple of fasteners that are on the sides of the shell. So if the shell uses ear loops to keep it in place, you have the seal via these plastic portions that are put into the filter itself. If you're okay with a slightly shallower fit, just one that allows you to throw this thing on and off easily, you just have to align your nose to the top portion, align your chin to the bottom, and you'll be able to feel those pieces of plastic pulling on both areas, and then let the ear loops do the rest. It's at this point that you might need to adjust things a little bit, but if you want a better seal, one that really doesn't move at all and definitely doesn't fog up your glasses, you're going to want to mess around with those pieces of plastic a bit more. There are two layers of plastic on here, and the instructions say to lift up the top layer first, and then put that on the bridge of your nose. That will create a seal, and it will keep air from coming out from the top and potentially fogging up your glasses. This is the fit that most people will probably want from the Active Plus, because it definitely minimizes the amount that the mask will move while you're talking or just moving around. One thing you might notice is that I can talk very comfortably with this mask on. I can also breathe very comfortably, just taking deeper breaths whenever I need to. Uh, and during those deeper breaths, I might end up having the filter touch my lips because I'm sucking air in. But as far as talking is concerned, the reason why the sound actually is quite good is because there's space between my mouth and the actual surface of the filter, allowing for some resonance to happen instead of a piece of fabric straight up covering my entire mouth and jaw area to where it sounds muffled. Now obviously there's going to be some relief when I get the mask off and I can talk and breathe at my most comfortable level, but compared to every other mask that I have used over the last year and a half at this point, uh, well this is actually the most comfortable that I've ever used and it's the one that I can actually use to talk to people who are with me while still staying safe. You can head over to their website to see the actual results of their testing. The electrostatic layers that are inside of this mask help it achieve a 99% filtration level. It is still debatable whether or not you can compare filters like this to like N95 grade medical masks or anything like that, but it's good that AirPop is doing their best to give you some peace of mind as far as how much you're actually filtering out. And that is where the Halo sensor and the Smart App come into play. The Halo sensor, which is part of the shell, uh, is a coin battery powered sensor which will detect not only how many breaths you have been taking, but also uh, how many pollutants you could have potentially been breathing in if you didn't have the mask on. 
This is actually a good timing because I'm going to show you the app and I'm also going to check if it's time for me to change this particular filter. This is the filter that I've had since first getting this mask and through the app it will track how long you've been actually actively using the mask on your face and also when was the last time you put in a new filter. And that might be my favorite part about the smart capabilities of this mask because with every other non-smart mask you don't know how long you've actually been using it and how much more time you have for it to be fully effective. They might say something like 20 or 40 hours but who really is counting? Well, this mask does it for you. Now, while I might not have used the full 40 hours of breathing in and out of this filter, uh, it is time for me to change it because uh, they recommend that you change it every 30 days. So you can see in the app that there are plenty of other functions as well on top of the filtration metrics. There's even an active mode so you can actually use your phone uh, to track uh, where you've been with the mask on. It will track your breaths during some sort of like a workout or distance based workout. This level of functionality is sure to get improved in the future so that this is more than just an everyday wear mask. It's something you can use for very specific tasks. Aside from that, you can change the color of the LED that is blinking whenever you're using the mask. But of course, it will tell you how many pollutants and what sizes of pollutants it has actually measured being filtered through the mask. And it actually gives you an equivalence of how many cigarettes that is. But as far as everyday wear masks are concerned, this is the best one that I have used in this past year. And that's because the ratio of protection to comfort has been really high on here, higher than any other mask I have used. But all of that does come at a bit of a price. The level of protection, but also the ingenuity that was put into the comfort and the feel of the mask comes in at $149.99. If you head over to the website, you'll see that the Active Plus Halo Smart Mask is at that price and comes with a few extra filters. And then when you do need to buy more filters, they come in at $24.99 for a pack of four. Now that is pretty pricey, especially considering these filters can be used for up to 40 hours worth of use or one month after they are taken out of the package, whichever comes first. And you're basically paying around eight or nine dollars per month for each filter. That is a steep price, especially if you're not the kind of person who would be using a mask like this very often. I think for travel and definitely in certain places where the pollution is a lot higher, like places like Los Angeles, for example, this is definitely one of those things that you could keep in mind if your respiratory health is at the top of your priority list. And as this video is coming out on Earth Day, this is a good time to know that environmental health is directly linked to our personal health. So as much as we work to make the environment a better place, along the way, we also have ways of protecting ourselves along that journey. So would I recommend this to everybody? Definitely not, just because of that price and also because everyone's priorities are different. If your priorities are actually at the point where you want to have a mask like this, I do think it is well worth the price. So let me know what you think of the AirPop Active Plus with the Halo sensor in the comment sections down below. Also drop some likes on this video and subscribe to my channel for more content. With all of that said, I'm gonna go ahead and call it on this one. Thank you so much for watching. Please take care of yourselves and each other. That's what masks are for and enjoy your tea, everybody.